Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. Today I have a chatty video for you. I just really felt like talking and answering questions. I found this tag on a blog called The Beauty Section. I'll leave it down below so you can see the questions yourself if you want to answer them. There are 30 questions in total and I think I should probably start now because it will take me forever to answer them. Question number one, do you remember your first makeup item? I'm pretty sure I used my mum's makeup and it would have been her Clinique um, foundation in the little glass bottles. It was definitely not the right shade for me, but I wore it anyway. I thought it was cool, um, but I didn't wear anything else. Like no mascara, no brow stuff, nothing. Just probably lip balm and my Clinique foundation. When it comes to actual purchases, I think my first purchase would have been from MAC. My Rebel lipstick and the eyeshadow in Satin Taupe. That was like the first expensive like big brand purchase for me, I remember that. Number two, describe your perfect mascara. Have you found one that fits your specifications? Yes. My favourite mascara of all time is the Bed and Sex Mascara by Too Faced. Literally, I love it. It works wonders. My favourite kind of mascara is the ones with the wand. I hate the plastic ones. I feel like they just don't do anything for my lashes. They feel like it just extends my lashes and makes them really thick and they look like fake lashes. Like they just make them look amazing. Actually, hands down, my favourite mascara of all time. Question number three. What kind of coverage do you prefer for a foundation? Um, medium to full coverage. I mean, I don't like going really heavy unless I have an event or there's like an occasion, like a birthday or going out, which is very rare. Like for everyday use and what I wear normally, it's medium to full. Question number four, favorite high-end brand? Crap, that's hard. I would probably say, I think I would say Too Faced or Nars are my two favorite high-end brands, like brands that I have a lot of products from and a great range of products from. What cosmetic brands have you always wanted to try but still haven't? I mean, I haven't tried any Jeffree Star products, and I've always wanted to try his highlighters and some of his liquid lipsticks. And Gerard Cosmetics, I want to try some of his facial sprays and his liquid lipsticks as well. Question number six, favorite drugstore brand? I think NYX is a really good drugstore brand, a really good quality for their price point. Like they have some really good bits that um, I think are really good to experiment and play with. And maybe Chi Chi. On price point, I'd say they're kind of with the L'Oreal Maybelline. I do like some of their stuff, and again, like their eyeshadows. I like their BB cream, and that was actually really, really nice. So yeah, I'd say Chi Chi. Question number seven, do you wear fake lashes? And yes, I love them. I don't wear them all the time, but I do think there are some makeup looks that just need lashes. Like sometimes they can be too much, and they kind of cover up all the amazing work you've done. But yes, I do wear them. Question number eight is, is there any kind of makeup you can't leave the house without? I mean, I'm getting better. I do go out the house now without wearing any makeup at all, or I go to the gym and not wear makeup. There's one product. I would probably say mascara. It just makes me look awake. And I think lashes just mean everything. <laughs> Question number nine is, what is your most cherished beauty product? Okay, I'd have to say my eyeshadow palette and my Inglot pigments. Like, they are my babies. <laughs> they are the things that I love and I collect. Question number 10 is, how often do you shop for makeup? Do you like to pick up an item here and there or get lots of goodies at once? How often do I shop for makeup? all the time. I'm constantly picking up things here and there. Realistically, that's what I do. But I do enjoy the experience, you know, of going out, just buying a bunch of goods. But realistically, I can't accumulate products. I don't go crazy all the time. Question number 11 is, do you have a beauty budget or do you spend frequently? That kind of depends. I don't ever have a budget on my, my makeup. Like if I want to buy makeup and I have the money there, like I will spend whatever money I want like I don't limit myself but I am realistic and I am a grown-up I have bills to pay <laughs> to number 12 do you utilize coupon coupons rewards cards and sales when shopping for cosmetics who the hell isn't coupons I don't use rewards cards yes I have my price on rewards card I have my Sephora membership card um, my Mecca Beauty Loop card. Why not? You're spending that money anyway. I don't understand why you wouldn't have that card. You don't even need to carry around with you anymore. You just need to remember your email address. And they type it in and they put it to your account and you gain points and then you get discounts and free products and samples or whatever. Like, why wouldn't you? If you're not doing it, get onto it now. 
Question number 13. What type of products do you buy the most of? I probably have to say eyeshadows. Whether it's like single eyeshadows, eyeshadow palettes, my pigments. Collectory things. I collect makeup in general, but yeah. Question number 14. Is there any brands that you absolutely can't stand? No. I'm, no? Like, I haven't come across an actual brand that I don't like. It's probably like little bits here and there within the brand, a particular foundation, or I don't like a particular lipstick formula or whatever, but there isn't a brand that I can't stand. Number 15, do you avoid certain ingredients in cosmetics like parabens or sulfates? Okay, I don't even look into any of my products that I own, which I, now saying it out loud, sounds really, really bad. Probably should. I don't, who really does? You know, your skin hates a particular thing thing then obviously you would check but I don't think anyone in general would actually check what's in the makeup products which is really scary I don't know maybe I should question number 16 do you have a favorite place to shop for makeup my bed does that count online shopping for makeup is amazing just relaxing from your own home and the postman delivers it to you if we're talking about an actual store I'd say Sephora every time I've ever been into a Sephora I've always like you know had the whole Question number 17, do you like to try new skincare products or do you keep the same routine? I've recently posted a video on my skincare routine so I will link that down below. I generally keep the same routine. I have recently integrated a couple of products. It hasn't changed much over the past year or two. I kind of stick to what's good and what I like to use on my skin and what my skin likes. Question number 18 is favourite bath and body brand. Um, Lush. Is that even a question? Nothing compares to Lush. It's just so fun and colourful and playful and smell amazing. I literally want a never ending collection of bath bombs and bubble bar. Love Lush. Question number 19. If you could only buy from one brand, which brand would you choose? That's really hard. I'd probably go with Too Faced again or maybe Kat Von D. They both have a great range from base like foundations to eyeshadows, lip products. I'd say Too Faced. Question number 20, what brand do you think has the best packaging? Okay, Too Faced. <laughs> it literally can't be my answer to everything. They have the cutest packaging. I really want to buy like their Christmas stuff this year, like I missed out last year. I ain't missing out this year, I tell you that now. Question number 21, which celebrity always has great makeup? The Kardashians and Jenners I feel like are always perfectly done up. Shay Mitchell, Selena, I don't know what's this like natural beauty. I've been kind of obsessed with her since Beauty and the Beast, yeah, those people. Question number 22, do you belong to any online makeup communities? YouTube counts, YouTube. Also like Facebook pages, I follow Makeup Junkies Perth. Couple like that on Facebook. Question number 23, five favorite beauty gurus. Okay, Sean Nixo is my favorite. Ali Bible, Danny Grimmin, Rachel Leary. And Kathleen Lights is really good too. There's some amazing makeup looks she does. That's my five. Question number 24, do you like multifunctional products like lip and cheek stains? No. Hate them. Don't, I do not use them. Cream blushes that you can use on your lips. Oh, just I, I really don't like them, and they really do not work for me. Question number twenty-five: Are you clumsy in putting makeup on? Most of the time, I'm pretty good. Liquid liner, literally my worst enemy. I'm not very good at it. I do try. Sometimes putting lipsticks on. Just sometimes it just does not go on right. Sometimes I can be super messy. Generally pretty good. Question number 26. Do you use makeup base slash primer for your eyes? Yes, I always prime and set my eyes. Most of the time I like to use concealer. Set with my Laura Mercier um, translucent powder. Recently I've been really loving the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer. Question number 27. How many hair products do you use on a typical day? Like none. I am not into hair care. That's probably really bad. I don't use any products on my hair and I rarely like curl or straighten or dry my hair. I literally just let it do its own thing. I'm super lazy when it comes to hair. Question number 28. What do you apply first, concealer or foundation? Typically, I always apply my foundation then concealer. Recently, because my breakouts have been quite bad, I've been putting concealer on first and really trying to cover the area. Then I'll go on with my foundation. Question number 29. Do you ever consider taking makeup classes? I've been wanting to take a makeup course slash classes for years, I think even in high school. Yes, 
I definitely want to take some classes. So that is all the questions. I hope you enjoyed this little chatty video. That was fun. I like it. I love chatty videos. So if you did like this chatty video and want to see more like this, then please give me a thumbs up to let me know. If you want to watch more of my videos, then please subscribe. The link will be down below. I will see you next time with my next video.